Hi there, and thanks for tuning into Time News. In this episode, we're delving into 12 noteworthy news pieces in the field of longevity from the past week. 1. A recent study found that 1 in 25 Icelanders carries a genotype associated with a shorter lifespan. This discovery has prompted the Icelandic government to initiate a nationwide precision medicine program, taking advantage of the extensive genetic, transcriptomic, and proteomic data to provide personalized health care for its population. 2. This study issued on the American Geriatric Society examined the association of care given with mortality in older women. During a mean 17.5 year follow up, all cause death rate in caregivers was 9% lower compared to non caregivers. Studies detailing the type and amount of care given are needed to further determine its impact on older women. Next, let's see how to learn about your biological age. Researchers have developed LensAge, a way to measure a person's biological age by looking at changes in their eye lens. It's a useful tool for assessing health and disease risks, and can even be used with smartphone photos for easy self-monitoring. The results are published in Nature Communications. A team of Professor Steve Hovers from UCLA discovered the reciprocal relationship between the average rate of methylation change in specific chromatin states and maximum lifespan. This study emphasizes the role of epigenetics in aging and longevity across various animal species. Next two studies introduce the ways for increasing lifespan. The study published in Geron Science investigates compounds promoting health and longevity in various C. elegans species. They tried out five special compounds, including green tea extract, and discovered that these compounds can have different effects on warm lifespan. Another research identifies CD133 bone marrow cells as potential contributors to vascular regeneration, suggesting stem cell-based strategies for treating age-related pathologies. These stem cells can rejuvenate neovascularization and enhance lifespan in both prematurely and naturally aged mice. Our behavior and environment can affect the aging process too. Let's see, alpha closo is an anti-aging molecule associated with aging and several diseases. Examining more than 11,000 participants aged over 40, this study discovered a significant inverse association between cigarette smoking and the serum alpha closo levels among U.S. adults. Japanese scientists investigated age-dependent low-dose ionizing radiation effects using adaptive response experiments in young and middle-aged mice. Results showed LDR-induced adaptive responses may be attenuated by a combination of reduced DNA damage sensor function and chronic P53 activation in middle-aged mice. The following are three breakthroughs from related companies. On November 7th, organized by Timeline, the first global Eurolithin A summit was carried out virtually. Eurolithin A is a postbiotic nature molecule that has the potential to target several most important hallmarks of aging. This event marks a significant milestone in the journey of raising the bar in longevity, nutrition, and skin health science. Pharma company T3D Therapeutics has reviewed promising findings from its phase 2 pioneer trial in treating the Alzheimer's disease. The company's data show clinical improvement in cognition in Alzheimer's patients with a high p tau 217 ratio. Two companies teamed up to create a special supplement for dogs that helps keep them healthy as they get older. It's all about boosting their cell power and making sure they stay active and happy, showing growing care about our furry friends' long and happy lives. And that concludes this week's edition of Time News. Tune in again next week for further updates. Thank you and may you have a prolonged life.